I'm presenting to you one of the most raw and untouched landscapes of Switzerland. This is the magical Schechental. It is one of the greenest valleys that is located right in the heart of Switzerland in the canton of Uri. At the upper end of the Schechen Valley lays the Stoiber, which is what I call the most beautiful unknown waterfall of Switzerland. Immerse yourself into postcard-like Switzerland and get to meet this hidden gem, the Schechental. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Geomographic. Today I'm traveling with Ruck, who is one of my great friends here in Switzerland. We are going to the Stoiber, which is one of the most beautiful but less known waterfalls in Switzerland. If you like anything about traveling and culture, then you're right in this channel here, so you're most welcome to subscribe. Also, don't forget to activate the notification bell, so you'll be informed for having you up. Alright, and now let's go and enjoy a fantastic hike. In order to go to the waterfall, you have to make your way to Unterschechen and then take the road that leads you up to the Klausenpass. In this first curve, I suggest you park your car here and then start your hike. Although the waterfall may seem far, the hike is actually very easy and it only takes 30 to 40 minutes until you reach up there. On your way, you first will pass this church, there you also can see a couple of cows, and then you'll walk along this creek, which actually origins from the waterfall itself. We just reached our first stop at this creek. I really love the noise of the water and it's very clear. It's just very peaceful here. Already here you can tell that this landscape is incredibly well preserved. And that's why I consider this valley as a must visit. Especially if you're staying for more than a week in Switzerland, this place really shall not be missed. From here it will take roughly another 20 minutes until you reach a Stoiber, which I call one of the most beautiful waterfalls of Switzerland. Wow, look at this waterfall. So beautiful. It's really amazing. Can you see all the water there? When it clashes on the rock, it creates a lot of dust. Because of that, the waterfall was named Stoibo. The village up here really could not be located any better. Right beneath this magnificent waterfall, it really just sits in the perfect place. The whole scene is really stunning. Up here, your postcard dreams will become true. Definitely this place is a fantastic subject for taking photos. The panorama of the village with the waterfall in the background is really one of the most unique scenes here in Switzerland. Because of this and the fact that this place is barely visited by any tourists, I consider this the most beautiful unknown waterfall of Switzerland. After enjoying this wonderful panorama with the Stoiber waterfall, you also should go up to the Oberalp to enjoy a fantastic view over the valley. For this you have to take this very rustic cable lift, which itself is going to be quite an enjoyable adventure. I'm now in this very rustic teleferic up to the lookout and it's really really cool. You have a great view over the Schechen Valley and then even up to the amazing Klausenpass. I'm now up on the Alps, it's very beautiful, because the cabins were so narrow, my friend Rock he had to take another one, but meanwhile I'm enjoying the beautiful scenery up here, you can see there are a lot of cows, this is the real raw Switzerland. Having arrived up here, you're on one of the most typical Swiss Alps, you have an amazing view on the Klausen Pass. And up here, the atmosphere is very peaceful. By the way, the Klausen Pass is one of the most beautiful pass roads of Switzerland and definitely should be taken into consideration if you're here by car. I previously made a separate video about it.
up here you also can go for lunch, they serve pretty good cheese, and just besides this restaurant you can visit the museum which is free of charge. In here you can see how the people in the past used to live up in the Alps. Looking at this humble hut you will understand that back in the old days people's life used to be anything than easy. It's really amazing up here, I do have to say I really enjoy it. As you can hear, there are a lot of cows that are wearing the bells and it makes a lot of noise, but that's what I really like about Switzerland. This is what always would remind me of being home. I recommend you to stay up on the Oberalp for about one to one and a half hours and then go again down to the Stoiber waterfall. It's so steep, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and my friend, he is really, really happy up here. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. Now it's okay. Now he's a little bit afraid, but I do have to say, this teleferric is scary. Right? Right, yeah. It's No, now it's okay. <laughs> and at the beginning, it was... I think you better look down on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. But the landscape here, wow, it's just gorgeous. There is one more thing we would like to show you, and that is this beautiful chapel here. So, as we are up in the Alps, the villages here, they are very small. And because of that, there are not enough people that could fill up a church. So here you can see there are only a few seats and because of that it's just size-wise very appropriate. If you go behind the chapel then you can take some really cool photos of it with the waterfall in the background. Such motifs are really stereotypical for Switzerland. After you finished your hike I leave it up to you whether you want to head up to the Glasenpass or whether you want to go down to Altdorf which is the capital of the canton of Uri. We've reached the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it to your friends, it would be really awesome. If you're new to this channel but haven't subscribed yet, then you're most welcome to do that now. I very much appreciate that. So that's it from our side, we're going to see each other very soon.